Hello YouTube and today I am bringing you my first tutorial for modding Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Today we will be doing the KOTOR 1 widescreen fix. The files that you will need for today are the GUI fixes, UniWS and the EXE. There we go, got all that. Download them in the description, the links are all there. There's also going to be an extra link for a no CD EXE because this is actually a EXE where you need a CD in your disk drive. Um, however, though, in my I've already got a uh, no CD EXE. I just don't know where I downloaded it, so I'm going to upload this, and you guys can download it from me. I'll put a link in the description and you'll be able to use that. If not, you can just use the one that requires a CD, although it is a bit bigger and it may take a lot longer to download. Okay, so let's start this tutorial. So, so starting off, we're going to we're going to need to go into the Kota 1 directory we're going to take the exe drag all of that in there and if you're using my no cd one you do not need to use the swcoder.back i've already done that okay so next up we're going to need the uni ws but but first of all first of all we're just going to make sure that in the game everything is set to what we need so where's the i and i okay so display options and graphics options that's set to 1920 by 1080 we don't want that but we will not change it here we change it in game otherwise you can screw it up so I'm going to quickly change that in game and then I'll okay so here we are we're gonna change all the graphics you want to turn all the graphics to the lowest they can go turn vsync on change the resolution to 1024 by 768 at 60 hertz okay now you can exit the game okay so now that we've done that we can continue by using UniWS. Okay, so the hell's happened here? Something's gone weird. But I, I fixed it. It's all good. There we go. Alright, so now, UniWS, you're gonna drag both of these two files into the directory. You're gonna run UDWS, you're gonna click on Star Wars KOTOR 1024 by 768 interface. Now you're gonna search for your directory for SW KOTOR. Once you've found the directory, it'll come up with screen width and height. You're gonna change them to the resolutions that you wish to use. 1920 by 1080 for me. Okie doke. Now we're going to click patch. The last step is to put the GUI fixes into the override folder. I'm going to drag the whole lot of that in there. They're already in there for me, but I'm just going to move and replace them all. Okay. Now, Coda 1 should be widescreen. So, I'll return to you once I'm in the game to show you what widescreen will look like. Very quickly before I launch the game, there's one thing that I need to mention. You will need to change the INI. Because I showed you at the beginning, the INI would have graphics options with 1920x1080, but now it's 1024 by 768 So we're going to change that to 1920 by 1080x1080. If you don't already have display options with that in there, you're going to do that. Height and width are the other way around, as you may notice. I'm going to save that, and now we're going to run the game. Okay, so 
here you go, this is what widescreen will look like. Now you can turn back your graphics options to however you want them. Just gonna put them how they were. Uh, VSync turned off by itself. Or maybe I turned it off before, I don't remember. Um, anyway, here's widescreen resolution. Okay, so now I'm just gonna load a game and show you what widescreen will look like in game. Okay, I'm on the Evan Hawk, so it's not gonna look too great. Because the character is always close up and it's weird. I th oh, my graphics options didn't even save. That crashes the game. Okay, I'm back. The game kept crashing every time that I was recording and tried to change the game options. Graphic options, I mean. Okay, so I'll load the game now. Uh, we'll go... Where have we got a good one? Um, this will do. Military base. And this is what widescreen will look like, and it looks great. It looks absolutely amazing. My FPS dropped a little bit there, that's not very nice. <laughs> looks great. A lot better than Coda 2 widescreen, I must admit. But there's nothing too bad about it. It's, it's really good. One thing that I do hate though is if you look at the right hand side of the screen, I don't know if you can see it, it might just be me. Cavadumpa earlier. Okay, well I'm going to leave it here, and I will see you in the next video, Coda 2 widescreen fix, and I'll see you then, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this video, and goodbye.